Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. Well, I was looking for a uh, single blade clip point barlow to go along with my uh, uh, single blade spear point barlow that I have in case, uh, but I was looking for one that didn't have a shield in the uh, handle, uh, and I could not find one from case. And I started looking around and still couldn't find one. It seems like those are a lot easier to find in um, Europe than here in the United States. In any case, um, I came across one. It does have a shield in the handle, but I came across one from Kissing Crane, and I thought I would give it a shot um, because it had uh, supposedly genuine abalone handles. Um, and it was a reasonable price, right around 25 bucks versus, uh, you know, $60, $70 for a case. And, uh, yeah, it's made in China, and it supposedly has 440A stainless steel blades. But I thought I would uh, give it a try and see what I thought of it. And I tell you what, right out of the box, uh, I was not impressed. Notice that bolster there. Look at that. It, it looks like some kind of crud all over it. The shield is not well mounted and uh, doesn't fit too well either. Um, and same with the back bolster, it's got some kind of crud on it. And uh, blade opens up pretty lousy too. Uh, does not have a um, mirror polish finish, it's very much a kind of a satin finish on it. Um, overall, I not extremely impressed with it right out of the box but I tell you what I'm going to do uh, before I throw this thing completely under the bus what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clean it up a bit and see if uh, if it will start opening and closing a little bit better and if I can get all that crud off of the uh, bolsters and stuff it might just be that it's been sitting around for a while and it just you know dirty from just storage uh, we'll find out. Um, once I've done that, I will um, continue on with this video. Okay, so far what I've done is I've um, flushed out the joint with uh, hot water and then I re-oiled it using um, a little uh, coon pee. So I re-oiled the, uh, the joint We'll see how that does, if it helps any. Uh, I think it probably will. That's usually all you usually need to do to clean out the uh, joints is to flush it with hot water, clean it out with some um, toothpicks and uh, paper and such like that and get it nice and clean. And usually that'll help a lot. And then to get the water out, hit it with a little WD-40 and then um, uh, wipe it down real well and then um, um, re-oil it and uh, then work the joint a little bit so that it'll be a little workable and since then I've um, put some case paste on all the uh, all the parts um, all the brass and everything or I think it's actually called a uh, brass coated nickel silver or something like that in any case I've decided to put a little case paste on the uh, the bolsters to see if I could get rid of that staining on it and now what I'm going to do is uh, start wiping off the case paste uh, from the blade and everywhere else and see if it looks any bit better. We'll see. And uh, I usually let it dry a bit on there so that it can actually get to work on it um, and actually get in there and do some uh, good for it. Um, the blade, well, it's a satin finish, so case paste isn't really going to do anything except get rid of any crud that was on the blade um, but it's not going to polish it up because well it's a satin finish uh, knew that getting into it so I'm not too concerned about that but I did have a problem with the damage that was on that on those bolsters and hopefully that staining was just uh, fingerprints from the factory and it did not leave any permanent damage to the uh, bolsters. Um, starting to look better, I think. Might have to do it a second time, but we will see. I did take some pictures before uh, so that we can do a little before and after look at it. 
and see if uh, if I got my money's worth or not. I think it worked. Not the first time I've done this where, you know, it's just a matter of um, cleaning things up a bit and uh, and uh, you end up with a, a much better looking knife. It's unfortunate, but I guess that's part of the, uh, the price of buying an inexpensive knife is um, sometimes you're going to have to do the last polishing on it. Um, probably going to need to get some... Uh, something else to uh, polish up the acrylic. I don't want to use case paste on the acrylic part or I'm assuming it's an acrylic coated abalone. It does have some nice coloring in there. Uh, I might just, uh, see what happens if I spray the acrylic with a little Windex and see if that makes that look any better. Um, so I guess it's time to pause again and see if I can get the uh, the uh, abalone to look a little bit better by getting a uh, Maybe I'll clean it with some uh, hot soapy water too. And uh, unfortunately, I think the only way I can fix the uh, the poorly fitting uh, shield on here is to actually pop it off and then reset it myself. And uh, I'm not ready to do that at this point, but I probably will do it in the future. Let me. Uh, But yeah, you can see there, whatever staining was on the bolster is gone on both sides. So um, that was really just probably uh, somebody who handled it when they were putting it in the bag and uh, had left a fingerprint there, which uh, then collected uh, dust. And uh, it could have eventually been a major problem uh, if this had sat in a store for uh, a much longer time. But fortunately... Uh, uh, the length of time that it before it was actually sold uh, was short enough that the uh, damage isn't there. Um, all right, on to uh, trying to get this handle to look a little bit shinier. Okay, well, uh, did do some polishing with a little Windex, and uh, I got to tell you, uh, you might not be able to see it too well in the camera here, but it actually has some pretty good color now. It looks better than it did. Let me put it that way. Uh, so. Uh, I'm sure it was just uh, some crud on the acrylic that was just not letting the um, the abalone underneath shine through. So now it does look a lot better than it did. And well, as you can tell, the uh, the bolster now is definitely a fingerprint magnet after polishing it up. You tie, you get a finger anywhere near there, and you're going to get a fingerprint on it. So uh, really a nice looking bolster now that uh, now that it's been polished. It would have been nicer if the uh, kissing crane shield was up in the bolster instead of into the handle. Again, um, uh, as you can tell, it's seated a little incorrectly. It's, it's going deeper into the acrylic on this side, and you can catch it here. And then it's um, actually raised on this end. So recessed here and a little proud on this side, which is a shame because the pins are really smooth. And... Um, all in all, the fit and finish otherwise is quite good now that it's been polished up and stuff. The blade uh, is opening better. It'll open even better after a day or two once the oil actually gets seated in there and uh, sits into the joint. Uh, so many people think that uh, you put a drop of oil on the knife and it's going to start working better right away. And sometimes that might happen, but most of the time it's been my experience that Give it 24 hours and then start opening it and you see that it will work a whole lot better. But it is definitely better than when it first came out of the box. So uh, this went from um, uh, a minor disappointment to actually uh, a pretty decent knife. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it now. Um, and uh, it will look nice for my, uh, my um, con continuing to grow Barlow collection. Uh, I did not have a a single blade uh, clip point in my Barlow collection. This is the only single blade uh, spear point I have in the uh, Barlow collection. Uh, obviously, the case is going to be worth more, and uh, I actually do like it more. But uh, I uh, for for the uh, twenty five bucks for the uh, 
for the kissing crane uh, with uh, genuine abalone. Uh, put that in quotes because we know it's a, a thin layer of abalone underneath an acrylic handle, but still they can say it's genuine abalone. Uh, and 440A stainless steel, and uh, really not bad. The uh, blade lockup is really strong, it's nice. Uh, I would give it a pull now of about uh, five or six. About the same as what you get on the case. Obviously the case has a half stop, the uh, kissing crane does not. But um, yeah, I think for the price it's it's worth it. Uh, you see the, uh, the nickel silver pens. Um, like I said, it's a nickel silver bolster, but they said it's a brass tone nickel silver bolster. I think that's the way they described it. It does have uh, brass liners and a stainless steel back spring. Um, a nice, uh, really not a bad looking Barlow. Kind of happy I bought it after all. At first uh, I was disappointed and now uh, I'm much more pleased with it now that I've done a little cleaning on it. In any case, I uh, thought I'd share with you. Um, yeah, if you see these uh, kissing crane uh, Barlows, um, they may look like uh, not too good when they first come out of the box, but with just a little TLC, um, you'll end up with a pretty decent knife for the price. Um, talk to you again soon. Stick around for some slides. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.